Hello friends, so I have a new toy I'm playing with today. I found this cargo sled up at Walmart for about $60. And so far it's been pretty good. I've only taken about a half mile so far, but I've had this trouble with my photo gear that it is really heavy to carry, especially in the snow. So when you're talking about your lenses, your tripod, and any other sundry items like crampons or ski goggles or lunch, <laughs> You know, carrying all that on your back can be really unwieldy, especially when you're trying to trudge through the snow. But so far, this has worked out really well. My only criticism really is the rope is not that long. It's only about this long. And so I've had it bump into the back of my feet and I can't quite get it around my shoulders. I kind of have to just pull it with my hand. So I'm gonna attach a longer rope on this and see if that helps out. But so far, this has been a great solution, so. You might want to consider this if you're into winter photography to haul around your gear rather than keeping it all on your back. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. And I'm going to take it on a test run now. The noise is probably going to be horrible because of the sled and it's a little windy out here. So you might not be able to hear me talking. You'll at least get to see what it's like to pull it around. So let's give that a shot. So I'm going to I stand on the side here so you can see, but it travels pretty well through the snow. Besides it being a little noisy, I'm only using two fingers here and I'm probably hauling about 50 pounds worth of gear. So might be a little troublesome carrying this down a hill. You might have to be a little more careful with that, but otherwise this has been a great solution so far. All right guys, let's really put this sled to the test. So we're gonna to try to take this up the quarter mile Blue Hill Overlook climb. Let's see how this goes. All right, I'm not sure if you guys can hear me over the sled, but it's actually working out pretty good so far. There's a semi-packed trail, so not too bad, but it's sliding along just fine. I would want to take this through fine powder, but overall I think this works pretty well. So for the values providing, saving my back from having to try to haul all that gear, this is working out pretty well. So, so far so good. So this kind of shows the limitations of having a cargo sled like this. I don't think this is specific to this sled. I think it's just any time that there is a certain point where the trail gets so narrow that uh, it's uh, you're kind of fighting to move it around obstacles. So my suggestion would be if you get one of these sleds and you want to take it out for photography, you might want to do it on a trail that you kind of know, that you know you can actually maneuver it around because if you're kind of going through virgin territory for yourself, you might this might become more of a hindrance than a help, but good lesson to learn, but it's so, so far, I'm able to get it around. It's just a little more tedious right now, but overall, I would say if you know your trail and you know it's like a pretty well-packed trail, I wouldn't try to take this through like a foot of fine powder, but if it's a kind of a well-packed trail, a little bit wider, and you just want to take your photography equipment a little bit longer distance, then this is probably helpful. Taking this around a tight corner or rugged trail, that's probably not going to work. But good lesson, this is why we try these things out.